the Nordic nations of Denmark and Sweden have signed a major deal to acquire 205 CV-90 infantry fighting vehicles in a $2.5 billion contract. As part of the agreement, 40 of these vehicles will be sent to Ukraine, with funding shared by both governments. Sweden plans to replenish its fleet with 50 vehicles, while Denmark will add 115 units to strengthen its military capabilities. This deal highlights the CV-90's increasing importance in modern military operations amid evolving security challenges. What makes the CV-90 a trusted choice for these nations, and how does its latest variant meet the demands of today's battlefields? In this video, we'll explore its specifications, capabilities, and the broader implications of this deal. Let's dive in. The CV-90, short for Combat Vehicle 90, is a Swedish infantry fighting vehicle developed in the mid-1980s by the Swedish Defense Materiel Administration, Hagland & Söner, and Bofors. Entering service in the mid-1990s, it was tailored to Sweden's defense needs, focusing on mobility, firepower, and adaptability to Northern Europe's challenging terrain. Since 2004, the platform has been manufactured by the Swedish division of BAE Systems. The CV-90 has evolved through several iterations, from the original Mark Zero to the current Mark IV, incorporating technological advancements to meet changing battlefield requirements. As the latest variant, the CV-90 Mark IV is equipped with a new powertrain, featuring an upgraded engine that delivers up to 1,000 horsepower, providing enhanced mobility and agility. The vehicle's gross weight has increased to 37 tons, allowing for an additional payload without compromising its maneuverability. It boasts a new X300 heavy-duty transmission, a key component in its improved performance. The Mark IV also features a torsion bar suspension system with dual rubber-tired road wheels, which provides a smoother ride and greater durability in challenging terrain. The vehicle can also be fitted with SUSI rubber band tracks, which reduce vibration and enhance protection against fire and mine blasts. The CV-90 Mark IV offers exceptional flexibility in armament. It can be equipped with a variety of weapon systems, including a 30-40mm or 35-50mm automatic cannon, or even a 120mm smoothbore tank cannon. The vehicle can also carry anti-tank guided missiles and is fitted with a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. The two-man turret is of welded steel construction, and it can be customized with different weapons depending on the mission requirements. The turret's design allows for electric control of weapon elevation and traverse, with manual backup in case of emergency. For increased tactical flexibility, the CV-90 Mark IV features an independent weapon pod on the turret, which can be equipped with a 40mm automatic grenade launcher, a 7.62mm machine gun, or even a laser weapon. The turret is also equipped with anti-tank missile launchers, stored under armor in a retracted position but elevated for firing operations. The vehicle is fitted with eight smoke grenade dischargers for concealment during operations. The CV-90 Mark IV incorporates advanced armor and protection systems. Its all-welded steel armor provides protection against armor-piercing rounds and is reinforced in the frontal arc to withstand APFSDS rounds. For additional protection, the CV-90 Mark IV can be equipped with the Israeli-made Iron Fist Active Protection System, which is designed to counter incoming threats such as anti-tank guided missiles and rocket-propelled grenades. The APS uses explosive projectile interceptors to destroy or destabilize threats before they reach the vehicle. The vehicle is also equipped with modern jammers to counter infrared guided missiles and laser detection systems. The crew of the CV-90 Mark IV consists of three personnel, the driver, the commander, and the gunner. The troop compartment in the rear can accommodate up to eight infantrymen seated in anti-blast mine seats. 
Entry and exit for the infantry is facilitated by a hydraulic ramp at the rear of the vehicle. The CV-90 Mark IV is also designed with a nuclear, biological, and chemical filtration system for additional crew protection in contaminated environments. The CV-90 Mark IV's improved engine and transmission systems allow it to reach speeds of up to 70 km per hour, with a range of 350 km on a single tank of fuel. The vehicle's increased weight and power provide excellent cross-country mobility, ensuring it can navigate the toughest terrain with ease. Its design also includes provisions for a high level of situational awareness, with cameras and sensors integrated into the vehicle to give the crew a comprehensive view of the surrounding environment. The CV-90's role in Nordic defense reflects its widespread adoption and continued evolution. All Nordic nations currently operate the CV-90. Across its 17 variants, over 1,900 CV-90s have been ordered by 10 European nations, and its battlefield credentials include deployments in Ukraine, Afghanistan, and Liberia. The vehicle's continued presence in Ukraine highlights its importance in modern conflict zones, far away from its intended deployment environment. According to the Swedish Army, an improved Mark V variant is under development with goals to integrate a hybrid electric propulsion system, fully digitalized C4ISR, enhanced signature management, as well as UAV capabilities. Initial trials with the Acheron MP missile and UAV systems began in early 2023. If adopted, this new version could extend the CV-90's service life in the Swedish Army beyond 2034, reinforcing its position as a cornerstone of modern infantry support. What do you think about the CV-90 IFV? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.